Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's video I'm super super excited for, probably the most excited I've ever been for a video because it is going to be on the ELF Retro Paradise collection and I think it's a super cute collection and I love the whole vibe of it. I don't really like that word but <laughs> I do and uh, this is the look that I came up with so if you want to learn more about the collection, what I got and what I used, then just keep watching. <laughs> excited about this collection. This is the Elf Retro Paradise collection. A lot of people love Elf, so maybe you have seen this, but I actually discovered this kind of on accident. Um, I follow this YouTuber. Her name is Easy Neon. I will try to put a picture of her and link her channel below. She does really cool, like, short tutorials that are very, like, soothing and calm, and, like, the way she does her makeup is so satisfying. But, um, she went to some kind of competition with Elf, and I guess her team, since they won, they got to collaborate and make this palette. I think that's what happened. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I'll put the video below if you want to watch it yourself. Anyways, when she was watching the collection, I just had to get it. I love the colors. I love the, like, aesthetic of it, I guess you could say. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from the collection, and then I will do some swatches. And then I'm going to use it on my face and let you know what I think. Okay, so... Um, I got the little brush set. This is super cute. It has like holographic clear handles and the type of brushes that are in here are brushes I would actually use so I thought why not try it out. Um, let's open it. The, I did have a little bit of problems with the shipping. The first time that I ordered the, well, when I first got the order, the first palette I got was actually broken. This color right here, the sea salt color, um, was shattered everywhere. So I gave it to my sister, <laughs> but they sent me a new one for the video, well, that I can use in the video. And then the brushes, as you can see, kind of got like uh, mushed in the mold that they have holding them in place. So I hope that that doesn't mess up the shape of them too, too much. But other than that, everything was okay. <laughs> ah, it's a little bit messed up, but it should still do the job. I like how they feel. I like this handle. They don't feel like too cheap. Oh, this set, by the way, was $20 for five brushes. I'm going to make sure I tell you guys the prices. And then on the side here, I don't know if you can see this because I know it's like kind of reflective, but the side says Elf Retro Paradise in like this really cool font. And here's all the brushes. Um, This brush, I shouldn't have thrown that. Can you grab it? It says it on it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this brush is the All Over Powder Brush, which I thought could be used for a blush or bronzer. And then this other face brush is the Airbrush Blender, so we'll use this for our foundation. And then there's this little blending brush, which I'm kind of upset that it's like morphed like this because I want to use it, but we'll still use it. We'll make it work. Uh, this, and then we got a little flat definer brush. It's also flat, but here we go. And then this little angled brush that I would normally use for maybe eyebrows or, um, excuse me, uh, eyebrows or like liner, eyeshadow liner, but this is also kind of messed up, so I don't know what we'll be able to do with that, but we'll we'll try something. I also got, here, let's do the palette. I'm most excited for the palette. I don't know why I'm stalling. So this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I forgot the price. I think it's $12, 12 or 15. I'll put on the screen for sure, because uh, like you heard last time, I'm using my phone to film so I can't look it up right this second, but it's inexpensive and you get 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 eyeshadows. And I'm so excited. The way she swatches these on her videos, like if you watch her video, like don't even, not even mine, if you watch her video and you don't want to buy any of this, I'll be shocked because she just sells it so good. And as I was saying, the way that she swatches these is just so satisfying, and I'm so excited. The quality looked so amazing. So here we go. This is that. I will enter swatches for you guys um, with the names and everything. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten matte shades, and then I guess eight shimmery or whatever you want to call them. The Retro Paradise collection was designed by a team of beauty influencers inspired by the vibrancy of the Bahamas with sunset hues. This collection takes you to where, to wherever you are. Oh, to paradise wherever you are. So there's the palette. Okay, first row we have Canvas, Sandy Bum, Rise and Shine, Spiced, 
Paraiso Coconut. Okay, second row, we have Dijon, Sea Salt, Fuego, Sip Sip, Baja Mar, and Tropicana. Third row, we have Caliente, Coco, Fortuna, Royal, Disco, and Nightlife. Next, we have the liquid glitter eyeshadow. I got the color Flirty Birdie. There was also, um, I didn't get the whole collection. I wish I could have, but I wanted to get the stuff that I knew I would really use and utilize the most because I have a ton of makeup already. <laughs> but this one reminded me of my, I think I threw it away. I had like a mini Stila sample of those. I forgot what they're called. But anyways, this reminded me maybe it could be like a dupe and this is like $5. Okay, here is the liquid eyeshadow. This is the color Flirty Birdie. I will, I'll swatch everything. I'll insert little clips in between. I just wanna show you guys everything first. Okay, so we have the brushes, the palette, the liquid eyeshadow, and we also have this, which is kind of different for me, but I wanna test it out because I've never tried something like this with my makeup. This is e, the, <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Primer Glow Oil, and in her video, um, she said that this is very, like, fast-absorbing, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Again, she sold me on it. I have oily skin, and I'm still going to try it. So I figured I'll do, like, this on my base before primer, and that should work out good. But here is the oil. It's very liquidy. And then the last thing I got out of the collection is this Line and Shine Lip Kit. Now, I got this specifically because she said you can use these liners on your eyes and your lips. And I thought that was really cool because these brown colors I feel like would be so pretty on the eyes. And this pink one I feel like you could also get creative with it. Plus it comes with the lip gloss that I was actually going to get as Oh, we're missing one. Oops, I almost didn't show you guys. So there's four lip liners slash eyeliners. Let's see what the actual pencil says. So it's called a lip liner, but in the video where she describes all this, she's using one of them as like a soft wing liner and it's so pretty. And they're pretty on the lips too, obviously. But I love stuff that can be like dual purpose. If it works dual purpose, you know. Okay, so here are the four liners. I love the oops. I love the nudes of them. And I like that she added a pop of pink, although pink is not my favorite like color color. Um, I like that it's unique. And then this lip gloss. Is so pretty it has so many reflex in it I think this is gonna be gorgeous so there's those and then while we're on the topic uh, actually this is the last thing I also got another lip gloss because like I said like she just this collection is just so pretty to me this lip gloss is in the shade strawberry daiquiri and it's a lot more nude but it's not like completely cream it definitely has some shimmers in it all right so now let's test out these products i'm so excited okay 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 so first i'm gonna do the skin because that's just me that's what i do okay so we're gonna go in with this oil I'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> but i'll just do a small amount and then after that i'm gonna use my putty primer to uh fill out my pores this smells like par uh what is this Retro paradise yes okay it feels good it definitely feels like an oil but not thick oil i feel the residue more on my hands than i do like on my skin i wonder how it looks on camera my little mirror right here it looks pretty good it feels good hmm. okay smells really good. Alright, now I'll go in with my e.l.f. primer. I don't know if you guys can tell, I mean, probably. <laughs> I got a haircut, and I dyed my hair, colored my hair. It's like a deep violet. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, though. Very deep. Like, you can pretty much only tell in certain lightings. Now I'll go in with my... So our skin is prepped. For foundation, I'm sorry. For foundation, I'm going to use the airbrush 
blender from the little brush set and I'm gonna do my wet and wild foundation because this is a little bit more matte than my um, infallible fresh wear and I have this oil on and I want to look dewy like I want to embrace the oil but I, I want it to last so I'm gonna mix it's gonna be mostly the darker one just a little bit of the lighter one because I'm afraid this might be too dark <laughs> Okay, so this brush, I like it. It's very, it's very um, flexible. So it definitely gave me more of a sheer type of coverage than full coverage because the more dense your brush is, like um, for example, my It Cosmetics foundation brush, like is a lot more dense than this one is. Like uh, that doesn't really show you, but anyways, when you use it, you can tell. But the more flimsy your brush is, the more um, the lighter your coverage is going to be. A dense brush is going to really pack on the coverage, so that is up to personal preference or what you're going for, but I do like this brush and I will use it again. Now, for concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealers. I have medium peach and light peach. I'm going to do mostly medium peach and a little bit of light peach, like right here and out here to kind of brighten the inner corner and lift the eye just a tiny bit. So that is our face with the oil, our foundation, our concealer. I feel like my skin looks so pretty. Like if I had dry skin, I, I wouldn't set this. But as we know, I'm going to set it. I'm going to use... I need to start wiping this stuff off because shit is dirt. Okay, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder for my under eyes in T-Zone. This is in the shade 10 Fair Light. And then I got... I splurged. I had a gift card. Thanks, Dad. I had a gift card from a little bet that we had, um, and I got the Laura Mercier, is that how you say it right? Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This has been talked about for so long, I can't believe I'm just now trying it, but um, I ran out of my Too Faced setting powder, so I was like, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? So far, I, I see the hype. It makes my makeup last longer than any powder that I've used so far, so we'll see how it works with this oil today. And if you're wondering why I use the Fit Me powder, like why I always use two powders, well for one is for like the color difference, like my under eye powder always has a little bit of color to it, whether it's a little bit of the pink from the Kylie powder that I like, oops, or a little bit of the um, yellowish tint from this uh, Maybell Maybelline Fit Me powder. Also I noticed this one has a little bit of a blurring effect, which I like for like the area around my pores, like my pores are worse in my T-zone, so. <laughs> blush we are going to test out the all over powder brush and this is a little bit small for all over powder for my liking this is more my taste but for blush we are going to try this out and I'm using my wet and wild keep it peachy really like this brush I like the um, placement because I usually put my blush like right here and I feel like it fits there perfectly on my tiny little face <laughs> We have 
the rest of our face done. I did my face makeup and my brows. And now we can go into the palette. Okay, so I kind of want to do something. I definitely want to use one of these fun colors. But this color, Paraiso? I don't know. It's so pretty. I know I already swatched, but I just wanted to see, like... I just love the duochrome of it. I hope you can see. It's like a peachy base with like mint green and blue reflex. It's so freaking pretty. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the flat. <laughs> um, this technical name is, oh actually, Blender Eye Brush. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use canvas right here to just set down the base to make sure everything is, um, Easy to blend up. Now I'm going to go in with Fuego right here. It's like a peachy matte color as my transition shade. And I'm going to use um, a different brush for it for that because um, I just prefer something bigger for my crease. There's definitely a little bit of kick up. You could probably tell in the swatches. Actually a lot, I'm not gonna say a little bit. So if that bothers you, just keep that in mind. But um, I assume that these shadows are packed lightly and that's why maybe they broke in shipping, I don't know. But as long as they perform well, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so that Fuego color actually blended really well. I like this color that we laid down. It's very peachy. It kind of goes with the blush that I used actually, so I feel like that's a really good color to start the look. But now, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I kind of want to put that purple all over my lid. I've been looking for like a really pretty like muted purple for a while um, for that reason. So I think I might blend this all over my lid and see what happens. Let's see. Or should I build, I think I should build up the crease a little more first. No. Okay, actually I'm going to deepen the crease just a little bit before I go in with that purple. I'm going to take Sandy Bum right here. A little mid-toned warm brown just a tad of it, and I'm gonna go very lightly right in my indent of my eye just to add some definition and where you hold your brush really affects the um, placement of the shadow if you hold your brush right here and you go like this it's almost like when you hold a crayon and you're scri scribbling but if you're if you hold your crayon a little bit farther away and just kind of do short quick movements you'll notice that your coloring comes out better you know what I mean these eyeshadows are blending so so nice like minimal effort okay so now that we have a good transition crease situation going on i'm gonna put the I'm very excited. I will test out the purple for this. So we're going to go in with Tropicana and I'm going to pack that all over my lid. Um, I added a little bit of translucent powder just because, just in case of the fallout. Um, but I basically used that purple and I just followed my crease and I packed it on lightly and it gave me like a light cut crease situation. I really like that color. It packed on really good. It didn't get like muddy when it mixed with the browns. I'm very impressed by the quality of this. And now 
I don't know what to do. I wanna incorporate another color on the lower lash line. Since this is a little jacked up, it's supposed to be an angled brush, I feel like I might be able to use it for the lower lash line for now. So I think I'm gonna go in with um, teeth, okay. I really don't know. I'm gonna go in with the green right here. It's called Baja Mar, and I'm just gonna buff that on the lower lash line and see what happens. <laughs> take the glitter shadow and I want to try and just put like a little dot of it right here so I'm gonna get like a tiny pencil brush and put this on the back of my hand and then try and create like a little dot on the lower lash line <laughs> wet I'm going to attempt to put just a little bit of sea salt over it just to get some of those reflex in there because I feel like that would look really cool okay and for the inner corner um, I, that sea salt color didn't really stick the way that I wanted to but for the inner corner I'm going to use sea salt I'm gonna try with my pinky first so I took that sea salt color and I put it on my pinky and I kind of just like swiped right on that inner like I just let my finger follow my eye shape and the color, it looks like super white in the pan, but as you can see, like with the purple or something, it kind of just has like a sheen to it. I think it looks really cool. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the highlight that I used on my face on my brow bone, and then we're done with the eyes. So I had a little technical difficulties. I guess I ran out of storage or something. But I'm gonna take these clips out of my hair before we do the lips. I'm gonna go on with one of these two, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go on with this one all over my lips. And then I think we're gonna take this gloss because this one is super pretty, but I don't want it to be too much glittery stuff going on. So I'll do this one, which is strawberry daiquiri. And I don't think there's names on these, but the lightest lip liner with strawberry daiquiri is what I'm gonna do. I really like this lip liner. Okay, and for the lip gloss. These smell the same way that the lip oil does. It's like pineapple maybe. You can taste it a little bit. Okay, so this is the finished look. I actually really like how it came out. I like playing with colors in like a muted way, like not too crazy, but you still see what's going on, you know what I mean? Um, this palette is so good. Like, I'm definitely going to use this all the time. I love it. There's nothing I use that I didn't like. I mean, I, the only thing I was worried about was the face oil, but I feel fine. 
you know what I mean? Um, if by the next video I realize I hate it, I'll let you know. But so far, everything is great. I think this collection is totally worth it, especially for the price, and I love it so much. Like, if you can get it, you should. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's also a notification bell that you can click if you want to know exactly when I upload. That is up to you. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a comment on video ideas, any type of suggestions. I love um, constructive criticism. You know, I know there's always a way to be better. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video at all. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. to the palette. This is the palette with 18 pans.